I am stuffed. I am full of waffles and chicken. Or chicken and waffles, depending on where in the country you're from. <laughs> but uh, out here at IHOP, Staten Island. And uh, wait a minute. What's that? That is a brand spanking new Yamaha R1. Oh, the keys are already in it. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, take it for a ride. Check it out. As most of you know, I am normally rocking a Honda Shadow Sabre 1100. Not at all like the bike that you currently see me riding. Oh my goodness gracious, that's like a quarter throttle. Uh, but yeah, I'm out here Saturday. see my block put together yet it's been sitting over there at his shop for months and months and months now and I've been slacking I've been working on other projects and riding other people's bikes but uh, I'm gonna go over there today and take some videos take some pictures take a look at my uh, my block and drool over something that I should have finished up a long time ago but um yeah it's just an awesome day and I get the opportunity to ride this new R1 it's got so much freaking power like I'm, I'm just so amazed um, not gonna lie, it actually feels lighter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he gets it now. Um, this bike actually feels lighter, more nimble, and just like easier than even my old 250. Like, I, I don't get it. I know the 250 was older it was like a 2007 or something like that 2000 oh, 2009 maybe but god how things have changed or the technology involved now to, to make these big leader bikes so accessible it's it's crazy butters riding a almost brand new uh 636 i forgot what year he said it was but i like that bike too i haven't ridden one but i'm I'm down to if somebody's got one to, one to let me borrow but this bike is just is just amazing already I've only been riding it for maybe about a half an hour now but I am impressed I like it a lot I, I really miss it's been actually no BS it's been a long time since I've even ridden a sport bike now the last crotch rocket super sport that I rode was my ZX-10 last year when I was in that accident and I got run over on the highway from behind. So this is just like a, a nice familiar feeling except upgraded. Absolutely enjoyable experience. The sound is also just, I've never even ridden uh, an R1 before so this is my first time in an R1 I've always seen them and you know when you hear one they just got like that that typical truck like sound like it's weird to have that now at my fingertips it's super cool Once again, this 
the type of bike that'll get you in trouble. I'm not planning on getting in trouble today though, however. is pretty cool too. And of course, no matter where you go, New York or New Jersey, you gotta hit traffic along the way. Yeah, I'll check back in with you once we get out to Sin Garage or if we make any other interesting stops along the way. exactly where we're heading right now but a little bit ago we just left Sin Garage out of New Jersey and we're heading somewhere Butter needs to go now but awesome day started off riding a Yamaha Warrior over to Butter's neighborhood and then went over to the garage and swapped it out for this R1 Butter's R1 and wow it is just an amazing machine I cannot believe that this is a leader bike with how light and nimble and just easy it is. And the, the digital dash is so easy to read and it's just got so much information. I don't even know what half that stuff is to be honest with you, but man, is it cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button, the little thumb at the bottom of the video. Hit the little bell notification icon so whenever I post content, you'll get notified. Come back, check out my channel. I post a lot of content about ramen noodles, motorcycles, ramen noodles and motorcycles. Just all around good time fun. And as I always say, leave this world better than you found it.